All right, we're going to watch Ryan's backstroke here underwater. We're going to watch it first at full speed. Uh, the first thing we're seeing, not much bending those elbows. We've got to make sure we're catching that water a little bit better. Good dolphin kicks there. When we go back to dolphin kicks, Ryan, I want you to make sure you're looking at how you're kind of letting those feet separate a little bit. Not that it matters on the dolphin kicks off the walls, because they're okay if you do a little bit of a flutter kick on those. Um, but it goes back to the butterfly video that we did Got to make sure that those dolphin kicks are um, staying together when we're doing butterfly. All right. We go into our stroke here. We can see right away we enter that water with the pinky. Okay, and that's really, really good. As you start that pull phase of your stroke, you can see how straight that arm is. We're going to make sure that elbow is a little bit more bent as we're coming off that wall. Or, I'm sorry, as we're coming off that first stroke. You don't want to have that arm quite so straight. As we go through the stroke here, you're going to see it still stays straight. And so at this point, you're still straight, and you're going to push out to the side. So you're not really bending your elbow. What you want to do is as your hands enter, you start to drop that hand right about here. You want to make sure that elbow starts to come into your body a little bit. Okay? And then your hand is pointed out this way. So you're really grabbing that water from your fingertips all the way down to your elbow. That's where that catch phase comes in your backstroke. It's not so much with that whole arm, but it's by keeping your arm in close to your body, it goes back to the drill that we do every now and again, the T-Rex drill, where your elbows are in. The idea is to keep that catch phase, that elbow nice and close to your body, and that hand a little bit higher in that water as you're pulling through. Okay, so we gotta make sure we get, the, get that straight arm more bent. Now, the thing I really like here is good pinky entry here. Hands already come out of the water there, which also helps get your shoulder up, which helps get your shoulder down. So from that standpoint, Ryan, I like that a lot. You want to make sure that that exit is coming almost as you're doing that entry, and that's what helps get your body in the right position with a good body roll. And you can see right here your head position is laid back in that neutral position. Awesome. That's what we want to see 100% of the time, Ryan. I like how you're exiting. I like how you're entering almost identical. But again, you can kind of see on your right arm, no bend at all in underwater. We want to make sure that we're bending those elbows underwater. At this point here, you should be catching here. And then your rest of your arm, this should be your elbow right there. And the rest of your arm should be bent a little bit better. Okay? Not quite so straight. That's an important thing that we got to work on. Again, you can see hand is entering, this hand here is exiting, you're on your side, you're getting ready to get that right shoulder up really well. That's a good entry, that's a good exit um, for your back shoulder. We like that a lot. Let's watch that kick as we go through. Kind of see it's a little bit of a pause with that kick. Want to make sure that kick is a little bit stronger. I like that you get a good kick but I want a faster kick. I don't want it quite so big and easy. I want it a lot stronger and faster. So we go back through to the very beginning. I'm going to go back up to full speed. Every now and again, you can just see a little bit of a pause in that kick. And right towards the end, you can kind of see that your legs fell off. Here you got some good white water. And right here, you start getting those feet a little bit lower in the water. You're not really finishing that kick. You can see up here you're really good, but you're too low with those feet. All right, so your upper body is good. Let's get that lower body a little bit stronger, a little bit more close to that surface. We're going to return. Turn over really good. That's good hands, good or good legs, good hands, good head position. That looks great. I like how you get your hands up in that streamline very quickly. The one thing I want you to try to do for me is when your hands are right here, you're keeping your palms up. When your hands are right there, make sure you turn your palms down to start pulling yourself and pushing yourself through that water a little bit better. Great streamline though. I mean, Nice, nice streamline, good high chest, feet are on that wall really well. Push off that wall, kind of push off a little straight. 
I'd like to see you, instead of going straight, push off that wall a little bit more on an angle, so then you kind of come up more on an angle. You don't want to go quite so flat as you come off that wall. You want to be able to get underwater a little bit more. In fact, by getting under a little bit more deep underwater, you're then going to be able to get underneath your wake. Right now, you're kind of going through exactly what you just swam into the wall. A little too long holding with that streamline. Make sure you start that dolphin kick about one or two seconds off the wall. That was more like three. Okay, so get into that a little bit earlier, but once you start kicking, look at C. And this is what we talk about in butterfly. And I'm only pointing it out because I think it's important for you to see that we've got to fix that dolphin kick, Ryan. That's probably a very, um, looks like a minimal thing, and we're going to see it underwater, but we got to make sure that we get it a little bit stronger, okay? Good gradual to the top. All right. So right here, you're getting ready to break the surface. You just barely started that pull. You want to start that breakout pull right about here when you're a little bit lower in that water so that as soon as your head is breaking the surface, this hand, instead of being here, should already be down here so that this hand is starting that next pull. Okay, so get the breakout a little bit earlier than where we had it there. Does that make sense? I want to make sure that you're working just starting that stroke a little bit earlier. But again, once you start it, it's good, but you can kind of see... So you're above the water. This hand is not doing anything, anything, anything. All right. So it's just sitting there waiting for your other hand to get up. So that's too long of a time just to be letting that left hand not do anything. So make sure you work on that break out a little bit later uh, or a little bit earlier, not quite so late, and you'll be perfect. Okay? Good, Ryan. Thanks.